morning. We got a long day ahead of us. Long day or a couple days. Currently quarter to eight in the morning. Flight leaves in about an hour from now. Stop over in Philly for about two and a half hours. Philly to Barcelona takes about eight hours. And then we arrive in Barcelona at like 8.45 a.m. So the question will be when we get to Barcelona, do we take a nap or do we stay up that entire day? Which will be Friday once we get there. Currently Thursday. sleep or so. I think it's about a 20 minute drive via taxi from the airport to my hotel. Probably won't get out here for another half hour, but it's still gonna be pretty early by the time we get over to the hotel, which means probably can't check in, which means probably no nap for this guy, but time is limited anyway. There's not really much time for naps.
We made it guys. It is a little before noon, I think. We did it. We made it to Barcelona. So much for that not taking a nap thing. Short one though, short one, relatively short. Couldn't help it. Room was on point. Hotel is pretty nice. Bed looked comfy. We were traveling for like, what, I don't know, 18 hours or something? Sounds like there's some sort of parade or demonstration going on like just down the block from the hotel. Can't give you any more information on that one. No idea what's going on there. But as for me, my plan is to head over to the casino. I think this first uh, couple days, first day and a half at least, is gonna be all business. The main event has already started for the 888 event. $1,100 buy-in tournament, and there's either two or three starting days for the main event. The last one is tomorrow, Saturday. I'm gonna be in that one, I'm gonna hop in there, but I'm gonna go check out the cash game situation tonight, see what's going on, see how the games look. I think it's about a 20 minute walk or a pretty short cab ride. The walk is basically along the beach and the beach is only a couple blocks away from the hotel. So I'm gonna walk down to the beach, take in the ocean a little bit. Obviously not the fastest route, but always good to take in your surroundings new location. So the casino is somewhere down that way, somewhere that direction, I think. Super tempting, super tempting to stop back there at that place for una cerveza. Looks like we are going the right way, good news. But I'm not too sure about my decision to go sit in the casino after walking around out here. Casino Barcelona. We found it, guys. Not a bad change of pace from the Bellagio. Just saying. So here we are at Casino Barcelona. Pretty cool setup. Everything looks pretty sharp around here. Casino looks pretty modern. Um, the sign-up list is interesting. You, you get this little slip with a barcode on it when you walk in. 
and then you scan that barcode at the sign up station, uh, put your name on whatever games you want, and then they call your name, same as usual, but uh, self serve action. Seems pretty efficient for the most part. Lots of people here. I guess it's, uh, it is a uh, Friday evening. I just hopped in the 2 5 game, which is a 1000 euro max, and uh, just gonna go after it. Usual drill, in for a thousand. Let's go. Alright, just taking a quick break here. I was playing 2-5 for about an hour and then I moved to the 5-10 game. There's a decent number of games, uh, the smaller stakes, but there's only one table of 5-10. I think there's three or four 2-5 games. Uh, the 2-5 game that I was in was mediocre. Pretty similar experience going on in the 5-10 it seems. I don't know, not sure what to do, debating uh, if I'm gonna stay in this 5-10 or hop back in a 2-5 or call it a night. Or maybe play some PLO. All the options are on the table, really. A little bit tired from the, uh, the travel. Some people might say jet lag, but I don't really think jet lag is a thing. I think jet lag is just tired. You're just tired. Your schedule, your sleep schedule is a little bit different, but that's, that doesn't really uh, seem too much different from my every other day experience of playing poker for a living and the uh, ever-changing sleep schedule. So, just uh, a little bit tired, but not drastically so. There was one hand uh, of note really in the 2-5 game where I had ace-10 and I opened pre-flop and I c-bet on the flop. I got check raised after uh, the flop game ace-high, so I called the check raise. Turn was a brick, I call again. River was mostly a brick and the opponent jammed all in. River jam was about $800. All the draws missed um, aside from maybe a uh, a wheel draw, uh, combo draw, like plus draw plus wheel draw that could have gotten there on the turn. But aside from that, most draws missed. And I think I should have called, but there's this, or there was this thing, there was this, this added factor involved where if I stack off there, I wouldn't have been able to withdraw any more money from the ATM. And it's a little bit, it's, it's something that I'm dealing with where I wasn't sure how to handle the funds to bring them over here to, to Barcelona. I brought some cash that I didn't want to, um, I was trying to avoid uh, using the currency exchange because you just get nailed with the fees so bad. So I didn't want to do that. The limit that I could pull out of the ATM was only $1,500. So in euros, that's even less, whatever it is. So if I stack off there, I wasn't able to withdraw any more money and then I have to use the currency exchange. I did get a hold of my bank, so I've increased, I've since increased the limit on the ATM, and now I can uh, stack off a little bit more easily, a little bit, a little bit lighter. This is why you don't want to play poker with uh, short funds. This is why you want to have a ample bankroll so that you can uh, make calls that you're supposed to make. So anyway, I folded that hand, and uh, there was no showdown. But everybody seems to be not getting out of line. Everyone's staying pretty much in line. Nothing crazy going on in these games. One cool thing that they do have going on in the poker room is they have a mix of the automated tables and the standard poker tables. So some of the smaller stakes uh, are being played on the automated poker tables. So they even have like a 50 cent, one euro uh, pot limit Omaha game. That's going on on some of those uh, automated tables, so that's pretty cool. I think automated tables are really good for the PLO games because the pot is automatically calculated and it's in front of everyone all the time. Less questioning what the pot size is. And uh, it allows for some smaller stakes games to be spread. So anyway, that's all the news I have for you. We'll see what happens. I'll probably play for a little bit longer and then head back to the hotel so we don't keep it, so we don't make it too late of a night on night, num on night number one. Wrapping up the session. Not much love today in the cash games. We lose 980 euro. So that's a little more in dollars. It was pretty card dead today. Only had aces once and kings twice and queens once. Just kidding. That's just a joke. 
you watched the last vlog, you would get that joke. But actually never had aces, never had kings. I had queens once in a straddle pot and I made it 60 to go. Guy on my immediate left calls, so we go heads up to ace nine eight, all spades, checks through. Turn ace, checks through. River offsuit 10. I bet 110 and he calls with ace four offsuit. Never had jacks, had tens once, whiffed. I don't think I ever saw ace king in this session. Saw ace queen a couple times and lost. Anyway, boring poker stuff. But uh, casino was nice though. I thought the dealers were mostly on point. I really like how they say all the action in both Spanish and English. So that was, that was super helpful for an American like myself. But yeah, just gonna head back. Gonna, uh, gonna make the walk back, walk off the loss and take in some more ocean and then back to it tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, there was no rack up shot because I didn't need a rack. We don't need a rack. It's not worth putting the chips in a rack just to get that one rack up shot. It was a carry your chips in your hand, kind of a cash out, kind of a night. Back to it tomorrow. First tournament in the vlog ever. Barcelona main event, 1100. See you there.